Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in, always appreciate it. Today, we're gonna talk about wireless radio mics. I'm gonna tell you the parts, what exactly we need, and why we use them in film or anywhere really to capture sound wirelessly, and how I use them for work. As some of you might know, I work in the film industry. I'm a location sound mixer, but more than that, I'm a sound person. I'm in charge of making sure that the sound quality we capture on set is gonna be great for you to watch at home today I'm gonna show you guys and explain to you wireless I know it's a really tricky subject when I first graduated film school I didn't quite understand wireless it was it was really strange to me because it was something didn't make sense I thought it was like black magic how come these two things communicate with each other so there's gonna be different parts for this video first I'm gonna tell you briefly the science behind this we're gonna talk about the different parts for a system for a wireless system how does it work why do we use it we're gonna talk about how we can set one of these systems up with our recorders with our mixers with our cameras depending on what we're using right now so let's talk about the science really briefly and this is how i understand it i'm by no means an expert when it comes to radio frequencies but i think i know a few things or two all right so first things first guys we all have been using wireless systems in our lives and all of you watching have one of those systems in your possessions right now this right here guys is using the same technology that our, our radio microphones are using and that's radio frequencies every time you make a phone call from your cell phone you're sending information wirelessly through radio waves i know it's shocking and now things are starting to make sense right granted the quality of a phone call is not that great because it's going sometimes across countries Let's talk about radio frequencies real quick. Radio frequencies are basically just numbers. The easiest way to understand radio frequencies is each number is a channel and each channel is a path our signal can take from transmitter to receiver. And just remember that. Radio frequencies are basically just numbers and each one of those numbers is a channel that communicates two things, A and B, transmitter and receiver. That's basically it. So now we know two things. We know that these transmitters are using radio frequencies. That means that it goes through the air and it gets captured somewhere else. When you make a phone call, your phone is a transmitter and a receiver at the same time. Because it's sending something, but it's also receiving. So now let's talk about the parts. So we have our transmitter. This is an SMQB by Electrosonics. Our receiver is this one right here. This is also a Electrosonics LR. So this is our transmitter and this is our receiver. These two are good friends and they talk to each other all the time. But there's a, there's a few things missing from this system. These are the main, the main parts, transmitter and a receiver. And then in a system, we also have a microphone which is gonna be plugged into the transmitter so we can talk into it. And on the receiver, we're gonna plug this into our recorder. So we will need a cable and then we will plug the cable in the, re in the receiver and then the other end will go out to your recorder. You might be wondering, well, how do they talk to each other? In the example I gave you with the phone, you have to actually dial a number, which is your phone number, in order to activate the transmission. Well, we also have to set up a number in our transmitter and our receiver to communicate with each other. Remember how I told you that radio frequencies are basically numbers and each number re represents a channel? We have to do the same thing with our receivers, our transmitters. We need to set them to the same number so they can communicate with each other because each number is a channel. So I'm going to put some batteries in this so I can get, we can talk through this. All right. Our transmitter has a microphone attached to it. So that's how we talk to the transmitter. And I don't know if you noticed, but each one of these systems has an antenna. The receiver has two antennas and the transmitter has one antenna. And this is how they communicate with each other. The antenna is what's capturing or transmitting the signal we're sending through the air. In this case, we're sending these microphones signal. So if I were to talk to this microphone right here, this receiver will catch that signal with these two antennas. 
So now we know the parts guys. We know that for a transmitter we need a microphone or any other signal. For example, we could be sending music. You can plug anything you want into this transmitter and it's gonna be transmitted through the air and the receiver, if it's using the same channel, same frequency, is gonna receive it as long as they're in range. The range of a system, it varies. It depends how much output power you have selected in your transmitter, what kind of antennas you're using, what kind of building you're shooting in, what kind of materials, if they have to go through walls, if they're in the open side, they can see each other. It, there's a lot of factors when it comes to range. Once you start using them, you're gonna start understanding how, what is the range. I'm gonna leave a video link in the corner of a radio test I did in my house with my HMA transmitter, which is currently the microphone you guys are currently listening to right now. This video is being recorded wirelessly. This is the microphone you guys are currently listening. This is an MKH8040. I'm using an HMA transmitter. This is how you guys are listening to my voice right now, wirelessly. My recorder is down here. When it comes to transmitters, we need to have a signal. The transmission is whatever you're sending through the air. So if you ever get confused on where the mic goes, because some systems, they look exactly the same. Transmitter and receiver, they look exactly the same. This is a Sennheiser G4. If you're ever curious on where the, trans where the mic goes, the microphone goes in the transmitter. So far, we know a few things about radio microphones. We know that they operate in radio frequencies. We know the different parts. We know we need a transmitter and a receiver and a microphone and a cable to plug that into the recorder in order to make it work. We know that they need to be set to the same channel in this case the same radio frequency another thing you guys need to remember now let's say you have multiple speakers let's say you have four people speaking so you're gonna need four transmitters four microphones and four receivers that's why radio microphones get so pricey because for each system you need so many different pieces you need the receiver you need the transmitter you need the microphone you need the antennas you need the cable to plug the receiver to the mixer so there's so many parts that's why radio mics get really pricey and especially if you got if you guys want a professional system that sound quality it's almost the same as a cable some receivers have dual channel receivers like the src from electrosonics most of them are single there's different ways to set up the receiver into your bag i'm gonna show you guys my bag here real quick so over here in my bag, the one I'm using to record this video, this is a Mix Pre 6 and I have two single channels of wireless and I'm currently using this one, my channel number one. And I'm using the antennas uh, that came with my receiver. You guys can also use a RF distribution system, which basically means it, it takes the antennas out of your receivers and you will need to plug cable here. So this way you could use bigger antennas and have a better range. You could use this system with your uh, whip antennas that came with the system this is why this is why also some systems are more expensive because you, you can detach the antennas from them a the difference with the entry-level systems the antenna is fixed so you cannot plug this into a RF distribution system like like this one right here and then from there you could have several receivers utilizing the same antenna and that increases the range and from that box you could use one of these antennas this is a shark fin antenna by electro or a dipole antenna and we'll make a video about antennas and how they work in the future there's um this is a wide band antenna and this is a single band and like i said i'll talk about antennas in another video because that deserves a video on itself so hopefully that clarifies wireless a little bit let me know if you have if you guys have any questions just remember that each microphone needs its own receiver its own transmitter and its own receiver in order to work and have isolated tracks radio mics Transmitters and receivers is one of those things you guys are gonna be investing a lot of money Systems if you guys are starting out I recommend Sennheiser G-Force upgrade the microphone that comes with it. These are Sanken COS 11Ds. I currently don't use a Sennheiser anymore for none of my wireless. Uh, this is just uh, IEM that sometimes use for my boom ups so they can have a private feed so there's no cables attached to anything. But the radio mics I normally use are DPA 4060s and Sanken COS 11Ds. UPA sponsor me, send, send, send some stuff. Radio mics. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned something out of this. And take care. Stay safe. Remember to be nice to each other. 
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.